Pedro says. You've written fiction yourself, and you continue to make it available for download. Why, and how do you feel about what you wrote today? And I reply. <clears throat> well, let's look at that shelf on well, let's look at that shelf of my works. In my folders, it's labeled as fiction and young adult literature, in between poetry and children's books and philosophy and PhD level content. Right now, there are 15 works of mine in this folder, so yes, you can claim I have written fiction. Of this fiction and young adult category, five are derivatives, my own compilations or writings about other people's works of fiction, including works on the Blair Witch Project, Donnie Darko, The Matrix, Star Wars, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Of the remaining 10 works, three are collections of philosophical essays and notes, Notebook 1, High School Years, BenPatioVersusATS.com, and I Am Now Me, which I consider too speculative to be considered specifically nonfiction. Of the remaining seven left after those, two are expressly comedy, Leroy Jenkum and For a New World Order, and two are original scripts, Intuitive Continuum and Apocalypse 2029. The final remaining three are fictional novels, The Cult of Sleep and the Neo-Sethians, God, and the Cheshire Sam Trilogy. The Cheshire Sam Trilogy describes a dystopian future world I associate in my work overall with the worst possible future timeline. God is one half background essays and rants on speculative subjects, but the back half of it is a traditional novel written in the style of Sitchin's Lost Book of Enki and meant to pick up in modern times where his story of the ancient Anunnaki left off. The Neosethian work is probably my most problematic because it does not express itself as obvious fiction, but then devolves into paranoid rants gradually over the course of it. Each of these works had its reasons, but only the Neosethian work has brought me trouble because many people are first introduced to my work through it, and it tends to attract paranoid and psychotic fans. Pedro says, Please share a little about your personal history with fiction, nerd-slash-geek culture, comic books, superheroes, sci-fi, etc. And I reply, Well, I grew up in the peak era of American imperialism, so there was plenty of surplus wealth and industrial manufacturing of toys to placate my young mind. I enjoyed the Star Wars RPG as a kid, and I still have my complete comic book collection of over a thousand issues, mostly Marvel. My favorite toys were Transformers because they were each like a little puzzle, and I had a very large collection of many different types of action figures, from Star Wars to Battle Beasts to comic book characters, etc. When I was in first grade, I decided I wanted to be a comic book artist when I grew up, and from ages 10 to 20, I continually drew art in comic book format. As I said, it wasn't until high school, reading works by humanity's so-called greatest philosophical thinkers, that I began to realize what psychological damage fiction causes. And again, this came from exploring authors like William Burroughs and Robert Anton Wilson, as well as the aforementioned Kafka and de Sade. By the end of high school, I'd had my fill of fiction, and by the end of college, of philosophy and poetry as well. <clears throat> 